Unit 5 Adventure Reading C Adventures of Ibn Battuta My uncle Ibn Battuta sat by the window of his house in Tangier. It was the hot time of the day and his eyes were half open. I went into the room. Uncle, I said quietly. He looked up at me suddenly. Ah, Ahmed, it's you again? He smiled. Yes, uncle, I answered. Can you tell me today about your journeys, please? I want to travel when I am older too, I said. Is that right? He answered. Then he looked carefully at me. How old are you now? He could remember things from long ago easily, but things from the day before not very well. I am eleven, I said. Well, perhaps in four or five years you can begin to travel, but it's not easy, you know. You can see wonderful towns and cities, meet interesting people and do exciting things. But there are bad times too. You can get ill, meet big hungry animals or lose all your money. No, I said. My eyes were big and open. Yes, Ahmed, he answered. But listen to my stories and perhaps you too can learn to come home alive. He laughed. Now, where shall I begin? I sat down, ready to listen to him. Every time my uncle told his stories, they were different, new and interesting. I was born here in Tangier, he began. But of course, you know that, he smiled. My father and his father before him were judges. So I learned to be a judge too. When you are a judge, it's easy to travel. You are important, you see. Yes, I said. Perhaps I can be a judge too one day. Perhaps, he smiled. My first journey was a pilgrimage to the holy city of Mecca. I got on a donkey and said goodbye to my mother and father in Tangier when I was 21. My mother cried. After some days journey, I came to the town of Algiers. Here I met more pilgrims and we travelled to the city of Constantine. I met the rich ruler there. He looked at my dirty old coat, smiled and gave a beautiful new coat to me. Why? I asked. Good men help people when they need it. After some days, I left Constantine with the other pilgrims. We never stopped moving because we were afraid. Perhaps people could take our money from us when we slept. We thought I was soon ill and I wanted to go to bed and die. But my friends put me on my old donkey and hit the animal from behind to make it go quickly down the road. Did you want to come home then, uncle? Of course, he smiled. But I journeyed to Tunis. A good traveller doesn't stop easily. I left Tunis in a caravan of pilgrims. They asked me, can you be the judge in our caravan? Of course, I said, yes, a caravan judge. Not bad work for a young man. When our caravan arrived in Alexandria, I was excited. I wanted to see the famous pharaohs there. I know, I said quickly. That's a big lighthouse from long ago. Did you go up it? 
No, he laughed. The furrows was in ruins. There wasn't a lot to see. But not far from Alexandria, I met a holy man, Burhan al-Din. He could see into the future. And what did he tell me? You are going to visit India and China. And on your travels, you are going to meet many old friends. I was happy about this. I am going to go far, I thought. And did you go to India and China in the end? Wait and see, Ahmed, smiled my uncle. I arrived in Cairo eight months after I first left home. What a big city! And what a lot of people! And they never stop running here and there day and night. And near Cairo, there are pyramids. Big, old buildings from the rulers of Egypt long ago. And were they in ruins? I asked. No, not the pyramids. He smiled. Next, I journeyed up the river Nile. After this, we travelled on camels through the hot desert. There were lots of hungry hyenas there. And at night, we needed to be very careful. Of course, I cried excitedly. One night, a big hyena came and took everything from my bag, he said. But we soon left the desert. Then I travelled to the holy city of Jerusalem and visited the famous buildings there. Next, I went to Damascus. What a beautiful city! Then, I travelled to Arabia and visited Medina. And in the end, I arrived in Makkah. After a year and a half, it was wonderful to arrive in the city of my pilgrimage. I learned from holy men there and prayed for three weeks. And did you come back home then? I asked. No. Every night I thought of the holy man Burhan al-Din and of India and China. I was a true traveller now and I didn't want to stop. So, I left Mecca with the ruler of Persia's caravan. When I was young, I heard many stories about the wonderful towns near there. But on my journey, I saw something very different. Years before, the Mongols came to these towns. They killed a lot of people and I saw many houses in ruins there. Perhaps the most interesting town on that journey was Vasit. A number of men with no money lived there in a big house. In the evening, they prayed and ate their dinner. Then they sat near a big fire and told stories. Suddenly, some of them walked into the fire. Then they ate the fire. One man put a snake's head in his mouth and ate it alive. And you saw all that? I cried. Yes, he laughed. I visited many interesting towns after that. But I never saw men eat fire and snakes again. Then I went to Baghdad. What a wonderful city! But I was ill there. So I soon went back to Mecca. I learned from holy men and prayed there for a year. And slowly I felt better. And what did you do next? I asked. I travelled by sea for the first time. It was my worst journey, he said. You can hear all about it some other day.